What's going on? What's going on? What's your name? I think I'm having a crash. How far along, how far along are you? Next week. I'm just hey, can it. I can I get some blankets and I need some towels out here, please? So, have you been getting prenatal care? Yes. And any problems with your pregnancy? Call my husband. Please. I need to get a pillow as well, please. Thank you. Give me some gloves, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna start. Can you help me out? I need. Okay, can you put these gloves on for me? All right, just relax, ma'am. Deep breaths. Slow, deep breaths. Okay. All right, so I need you to take this towel, okay? Can you get down here with me? Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, I need you to help me, because I just need to coach. I need, have you ever delivered a baby? Um, uh, I, I caught one. You caught one? Okay, so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna coach, and what you need to do is just like a, a quarterback, okay? I just need you to gently allow the baby's head to come out, control it when it comes out. Okay, ma'am, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> this is a prank. Hey, <laughs> what do you mean? This is a prank. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? And, and um, this is Tony, who is an actress. Ah, you fool. And your your beautiful wife, your eye. Is in on this joke oh. because everyone at home, this is Mitchell. Oh. Mitchell and Chinurai are expecting. How far along are you? Six months. Six months. Oh. Take a deep breath. How are you feeling? <laughs> like I need some revenge. <laughs> but did you have any idea what to do there? I, I, was, I didn't know what to do. So, so what do you know what to do if six months along, you know, there could come a point in time where you're in the car and your wife looks at you and says, it's coming. She literally looks at you and says, it's coming and we need to, you need to deliver the baby. So that's why we played the prank because there are so many people out there who have no idea what to do. Obviously, what you want to do is get to a hospital. Right. And Tony, you were great. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so what I'm going to ask, Mitchell Tino, are you willing to come up here to our exam room? Yes, so we're going to put you through some lessons. Keep those gloves on. I couldn't even put them on. <laughs> so come on up here. This is actually, actually Dr. Pouchet, who is an OBGYN. And first things first, Tino, I'm going to have you take a seat since you are I'm not gonna call you a patient just yet. I'm gonna have you move over <laughs> next to your, okay. next to chin your eye. So, we have a birthing simulator. This is called the Mama Natalie simulator, is that correct? That's correct. All right, so you're gonna pull this out and we're gonna have you do a little work. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm with it. So what this simulator does is it, it's actually a cost-effective simulator. It provides comprehensive, yeah, realistic training. It can include things like bleeding, uterine problems, the position of the umbilicus, the position of the fetus. And this is actually a pretty cool thing because this thing was developed to support the United Nations Millennium Goal to reduce child and maternal mortality in developing countries. Each one of these purchased actually means one is sent to a developing country as well. So, are you ready? Uh, I think so. All right, Dr. Shea, <laughs> you run the show here because so obviously this is car. a fake delivery. Okay. The baby's coming. What, what would you do? You see the head coming out from between the legs. <laughs> what would you think to do? Scream? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the last thing you want to do. You're going to get your gloves that you packed in your little pack ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You are going to see that the baby's head is coming out. You're going to control the way it comes out so it doesn't just fly out of there. Mm -hmm. Get in there. She's get pushing there. hard. You're controlling it. Here it comes. You just let it come. She's going to do most of the work. Mm -hmm. You have to not let the baby fall. Okay. Keep your hands on. Very good. Put this hand over on the bum. Okay. Bring it out and hold it close to you so it can't fall. Okay. Perfect. The baby's born. Congratulations. Hopefully you've already activated the emergency system and that the ambulance is on the way. In the case that they don't get there before the placenta comes, what you might see is a gush of blood coming. And she's going to say something like, ooh, something else is coming out. I have to push. If that happens, the placenta is going to come out, let it fall on out, mm -hmm. there's no danger to that, and then put it with the baby. Okay. Keep it all together, wrap the baby up, keep the baby warm That's until good. emergency services arrive. Sounds good. Takeaway here is anyone out there who has a loved one who's expecting, 
just having some of these simple tips at hand can really come in handy in that emergency situation.